everyone. We are headed to Typhoon Lagoon for H2O Glow. If you don't know, this is an after hours event that takes place at Typhoon Lagoon. The event starts at 8 and goes until 11 p.m., but you can get in with your ticket at 6 p.m. We will be taking you along via GoPro if you can't tell, so let's see how this goes. We are headed in. Oh, look. Welcome to H2O Glow. So we just got wristbands, and then now we're each getting a cup. Thank you. It says eight. It's a different lagoon park. <laughs> I don't remember this guy's name, but here are the street locations: Crush and Gusher, Happy Landings, Low Tide Loose, and Type and Tilly's. And these treats are included. Now we're gonna go grab a seat and get ready to go in. All of the slides are open today except Mayday Falls. That's been closed for a couple of months now. Really excited. And apparently they're gonna have special floats. Yes, look, so they have special floats in the Lazy River. You can see one there, it's like a dragon. But they have, a, and there's a dory. That's dory and that's a dragon. All right, we're gonna grab a spot. Okay, the first slide we're gonna do is called... We're going the wrong way as I knew. This Oops. way. <laughs> Humunga Kawabunga. Which is like a five-story sort of free fall. This is We've the done most it before. slide they have. And we kind of felt sick, not gonna lie after, but we're just gonna do it first because that one always has a long line. I hate this slide. It's terrifying. I'm so scared. I forget that I hate this slide. I'm scared. I just got the biggest wedgie ever, and that slide was not even fun. I don't love that slide. Next up, storm slides. Well, let's go. I think we're gonna cross these two off the list and then we're probably gonna focus our time on like the family raft ride and crush and gusher and all of those ones. There's a crowd check in the wave pool. I would say the crowds right now are very low. Compared to how it usually is, especially on like a kind of busy week, Magic Kingdom was packed today. The event has not officially started yet, but we're getting pretty close. I would say it's about 7.30 right now. Next up is Gangplank Falls. We love this one. So far, everything has been a five minute wait, AKA a walk on. Falls, that is one of these ones where you need like your own tube and then Mayday Falls has been closed for a bit the other times we've been here and we thought it would be closed today but it apparently is open so it's right next door and we're gonna try that next. Okay this one is fun but it's a little bit slow. This is the one that we haven't done yet. I'm super excited. Okay, you're like going over bumps that are kind of like break so it's like boop up, boop up, boop up. what's your review of that that was so bumpy and rough you're just sort of like getting I, just, like, I thought i was gonna flee out of this thing I that. <laughs> thanks that was good <laughs> so there's popcorn in here and then there's any drinks you want in here looks like it's like anything you want which is super cool i'm gonna get some power right i think free popcorn
five minute wait, but actually it looks like it's basically a walk-on. There's no one in line. All right, we are on and this adventure falls. We're getting ready to go up. This is such a fun one, but I think it's going to be really dark when we're on it. Which I'm very excited for. I've only fallen off the raft right once. in the dark pretty terrifying but really fun definitely a good one to do in the dark next up we're going to go to crush and gusher i think this way kind of turned long i think there was a little bit of lightning but we actually aren't sure it was delayed but now we're moving again we're on pineapple plunger and it should be really fun Which did you prefer, banana or pineapple? Pineapple, for sure. Pineapple, all right. So the dance party's right there, which means that in the wave pool we can hear all of the dance party music, which is really, really fun. The wave pool is not something that's like special needs to a flow necessarily, although hearing music is really fun. Giant wave, which we think comes on in the hour, is terrifying and will literally wipe you out. popcorn they have free ice cream they have free drinks and then i think right at 11 it's gonna end like pretty strictly probably no one's really gonna be able to linger they'll probably close the pools and the slides free popcorn you can find the free snack stand by these giant glowing things they do also have some specialty things here like let's see the glow main noodle salad the rainbow salted mickey pretzel neon churro with electric icing guys we got this churro it's really long with some frosting what do you guys think I know, but citrus isn't my favorite, but... It's pretty good. So we are in the Lazy River. We came in here to warm up, but actually we are kind of cold in here still. Like I have goosebumps on my arm, which you can see so clearly in the camera. Kind of chilly. So I think my advice, and let me know if you agree, would be get here at like 6.30, do a bunch of the slides, and then spend time here doing a lot of H2O glow things and like relaxing a little bit more, and do some of the slides at nighttime. Thoughts? Yeah, definitely do some of the slides in the dark. Spend time at the dance party, wait for the characters to come out, so worth it and enjoy like the wave pool and the lazy river. The lifeguards are starting to pick up food. They made an announcement of our closing. All of the food and drink stands are closing. So again, even though we're paying for a full three hours, I do think that they're kind of encouraging you to like, to leave a little bit. So. I think they want you to be ready to go by 11 when at a normal theme park, like kind of linger, linger a little bit. Yeah. We are headed out, our review of this event. I thought that this was a blast. I loved it. Me too, it was really unique. I think they did a really good job. The dance party was a huge highlight. Having the characters out there was really, really fun. The free food was great. And then getting to do the slides at night was awesome. I would absolutely recommend this. All in all, highly recommend H2O Glow. It was so much fun, and I think we would definitely do another one. Absolutely. Thanks for following along, and be sure to like and subscribe for more. Bye, guys.